players on the court. The Kings going for three wins in a row and looking very sharp. Yes, referees for this game, Steve Bignall and John Payne and Newcastle trying to break an NBL record of 21 consecutive losses on the road. And they've got a big job in front of them with just under 8,500 fans here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Turner and McClary. And Turner, first tap, Al Green, the veteran, first shot. Beautiful swat away by Mark Dalton. Perfect timing on the block. And you're right, Cameron, Sydney do look sharp. Newcastle undermanned, of course, losing Jerry Everett. Chris Steele. Little short range jumper down on the baseline and Newcastle open proceedings. Treacherous game this one though for Sydney. Everyone expects them to win, although I know that eight and a half thousand people have come here to see a good game of basketball, so they realise that it's no foregone conclusion, even though bookmakers rate them the shortest price favourite all year at 10 to 1 on. That man's one of the reasons why Dwayne McLean, although that one misses, and the Kings should be careful that they don't give Newcastle a sniff because they can certainly shoot and they may well go on with it. Well, they can shoot all right. Green, Johnson, Bullock. Johnson especially, one of the league's premier shooters. And that's a lovely uh, move in traffic from James Bullock. And what a, a duel that's going to be, banging the boards. Bullock of Newcastle and McClary of Sydney. At the moment, Newcastle out 4-0. McClary in paint. And nice move that time on uh, Neil Turner. Far too strong, too physical for Neil Turner. So the Chief brings up Sydney's first points. Starting fives, as mentioned. Sydney with a much deeper bench. And this game a good opportunity to use it. Michael Johnson, baseline. And He's that's his first two points in the match. And has a big responsibility tonight with Jerry Everett out of the side, the leading scorer. We mentioned at the outset that Newcastle might have trouble matching up on Sydney, and there are a couple of mismatches out there now. That's one, McClary and uh, Turner. And Chris Steele gets the job on this man, Dwayne McLean, and takes him down low. A long bomb there from Brad Dalton doesn't drop for him, and dominating the paint at this stage early, it's all Newcastle. The Falcons go low, James Bullock, but Brad Dalton's there to greet him. And kicks it away with Dwayne McLean. Looks up the court, finds Ken McClary, takes one bounce, but it's called a travel there by the referee, John Payne. Just have a closer look at this defence as Newcastle come back, but right now they're in the offence. The Kings playing that rugged man-to-man. -man. They switch up there, and that gives Damien Keogh the job on the sharpshooter, Michael Johnson, and down low, Al Green matching up Dwayne McLean. There's another switch. So the two guards play it well for the Kings. Down low, Bullock shot. Not a good one, and it was easy meet there for Mark Dalton. Here's Keogh after a successful jaunt to New Zealand where he helped the side at the Olympic Games. He's just helped his team to two and helped himself. But they still trail the Kings. It's the Falcon six, Sydney Kings four. Danger road trip double now. Uh starting to uh, take on proportions of the Doomsday Double, of course, the traditional Adelaide-Perth weekend, but Gold Coast and Sydney becoming a tough double, and uh, Newcastle already have lost to the Gold Coast on the first leg of this double, but at the moment they lead by four over Sydney, eight points to four, and uh, we've played two and three-quarter minutes. Elusive Al Green got away from Damien Keogh. The ball was pitched in and he converted. Ken McClary looks too strong for Neil Turner. Neil Turner has him for height, but McClary for strength. Jumps over the taller man, but it doesn't drop for him. That's Bullock again, dominating that defensive end. <laughs> All the moves, a little fake, a little shuffle. And Al Green puts one down. And a little travel, I think. <laughs> I think it might have been, too. 10-4, Newcastle out. By six, substitutions ready for the Falcons bench. And it's the broad body of Grant Kruger coming in. Sydney shooting is off. And Newcastle, who can run and will play an up-tempo game if they're allowed to, at the moment have settled into their offence a little uh, quicker than Sydney have. This is Michael Johnson, 5,563 points in the lead to Johnson in the league, which is eighth all time. That shot from Bullock is off. Sydney sweep up the boards. Let's see if they can get a good high percentage shot. 
and they do through McClary. Again, that's a mismatch that Ken Cole's going to have to do something about. He's just too physically strong for Neil Turner, who in fact goes to the bench, replaced on by Kruger, and now we're going to see some body banging. Tough boy, Greg Kruger. So he'll keep Ken McClary busy inside. McClary, though, goes now on to Bullock. And Brad Dalton has the job on Kruger, who's already flexing his muscles just a little out outside. Well, a bright start from the Falcons. Yes, 10-6. You can play on emotion when you see someone cut. There's the replay of James Bullock going round, and not a bad piece of defensive stuff there either from Ken McCleary. And way down the end, you might catch it in the bottom of our picture. Neil Turner there looking down. Yes, looking Appears to be in some sort of trouble. Distressed on the uh, sideline and James Bullock visiting one of the King's sponsors. Uh, just down on the right hand side of the basket. Crashed through the Hungry Jack sign and we'll be checking out. Food and drink available. <laughs> Good crowd involvement. 7.14 left before quarter time. And now Kruger first touch. Al Green, one of the veterans of the league. Done it all, Al Green. 6,400 points. He's third all time. And <coughs> that's a nice move by Chris Steele, who found just a little room in the paint. And uh, Newcastle stretched the lead out to six points. Well, Chris Steele, of course, the player who was clouted during the week by Jerry Everett. And that led ultimately to Everett's sacking. But Steele had no trouble seeing the basket then. Down the hoop, and that's two at the other end. Steele the foul, McLean the two. Deadly dangerous, Dwayne McLean makes that drive inside. Have a look at it on his not so favoured right hand. He switches to the left and drops it in, but he will go either way. There's no doubt he has great skills. And for Chris Steele, who's uh, relatively inexperienced, it's going to be a big task for him to mind Dwayne McLean. James Bullock, the rebound king for Newcastle, won the league rebounding title last year. Kings extend their defence here and they look for the double team, the Daltons. Yes. And they actually come up, they apply enough pressure to force the turnover. Oh. Mark Dalton appeared to get very, very annoyed there. Yes, he did. As Al Green refused to let the ball go. Wanted to keep that leather that looked like in the little, mitt. A little short arm jab, didn't it? I don't know whether it connected. Al Green holding onto the ball as he is allowed to until the referee. Well, the referee calls, calls the it. Yes. He called it, and Al really, by the laws of the game, has to pass it to the sideline. But you'll see here he hangs onto it. Yeah. And there they go at it. <laughs> and James Bullock comes in and pushes Mark away. The men from Steel City are not going to be intimidated here at the entertainment centre. And a timeout, and it's still going on between Al Green and Mark Dalton as both players clash walking to the benches for the timeout. Kings trailing by four points, eight to twelve at the moment. Let's hear what Bob Turner has to say. Bob, get a low axe, get a high axe. Ball at him, okay? All right, now, they got a uh, civilian in there. You play steel, all right, Dan? You stay down there for a while. Very good, very good with the ball. All right, this is the new guy. Civilian's in now for steel, all right? You got him to start with. Very good with the ball now. So, a new man into the lineup for Newcastle now, a man we have not seen in the NBL before, Troy Trevelyan, the new American. He takes Jerry Everett's place and comes via Perth. Yes, he's been playing with, if you can believe it, the Burswood Redbacks. Well, he should have some venom. <laughs> and that's a team, incidentally, which has boasted in previous seasons, the likes of Luke Longley and Andrew Vlahov, so there's no shortage of talent. And they take that state league very seriously. Let's see whether he can play. Ask Ken Cole at the outset. Oh, Dwayne McLean just drops one. Upstairs, downstairs, Dwayne McLean. Ask Ken Cole what he knew of Pavilion. Said he had some good raps from Cal Bruton. Here he is now. But apart from that, knew absolutely nothing about him and suggested we might know more. Well, we don't know a lot. There's a long bomb. And some big rebounding. And I think the foul will be on Grant Kruger. One arm up for the ball, the other leaning on Mark Dalton. And he acknowledges it. 
tough as nails, Grant Kruger. He'll go body to body on whoever he's on, and now he's picked up the chief, Ken McClary. And after the altercation with uh, Al Green and Mark Dalton, things have settled down. Dalton, Dalton now has the ball flicked away by Trevelyan. Steele goes in for the layup. Brilliant block. Oh, brilliant by Dwayne McLean, who's landed back near the Mazda, and at the other end, it's a foul on Kruger, and the basket counts. And Dwayne McLean, that's your points. That was sensational. What a block. What a mighty play. Unbelievable, because Steele got up there, was hanging on the ring, that's how close he got, and swatted away, he swiped it somehow. Remarkable play, and it went back to the other end. That's the sort of emotion the Kings will thrive on. And good Let's have a look at it. Watch McLean leap. That is amazing. Oh, he tips it away, just clean, clean as a whistle. And a good coaching move by Ken Cole, who's very quickly pulled Grant Kruger out of the lineup after a, a little bit of a clash with Mark Dalton at the other end. And that's a blocking foul, and a very fired up Mark Dalton too tonight. And I think that was uh, a clear call and a correct call and a, a tremendous amount of emotion in this match. A lot of feeling. Well, they are fired up. Could be seen as the championship of New South Wales. Bob and Turner the Falcons have come them to, to play. He, well, he expected them to, Bob Turner, because uh, he feels that Jerry Everett was, was a kind of a poison apple in the, in the bunch and that they play better without him. Certainly a lot of commitment here. A lot of talking, pushing and shoving too between Al Green and Damian Keogh. Not inquiring after the score. Trevelyan's first shot in the league has missed and a big strong rebound by Mark Dalton. King's on the break. Pull it up though and go half court. And a lot of elevation from Dwayne McLean over the top of six foot ten Neil Turner. Kings have taken the lead 14 to 12 and we have five minutes and 12 seconds to go into a pretty intense first period. Favours the baseline jumper, Dwayne McLean always looks a threat from downstairs. Another travel. Al Green finding the going just a shade tough. As Damian Keogh brings the ball down now. Takes on Al Green. Michael Johnson might expect to come in for Green shortly. There is a mismatch downstairs and it's Mark Dalton against Trevelyan. Dalton too big and twice he's tried to take him on. Once he was a little unlucky and we saw the steal. We saw the steal fly too. And Dwayne McLean squatted away, but a couple of times they've looked to go inside. There's Michael Johnson coming into the game. Al Green to the bench. Al Green sits, but that mismatch there is something the Kings can take advantage of. They go for the timeout, the Newcastle Falcons, as we've seen the Kings fight back and they've hit the front. They lead 14 points to 12. Well, Ken Cole's instructions were get the lead back now. It'll be interesting to see just how they can do that. Yeah, very simple offense instructions too. One on the baseline, one on the point, two on the wing, one on the foul line. Pass and move. I think we've all heard it all before. Mark Dalton was fouled going to the line before the timeout. And now a chance to make his two. He gets 50% and turn of the rebound, but it's the Kings by three, their biggest lead. With the ball, Trevelyan. Goes low, James Bullock tries to punch one off glass, but it doesn't drop for him. Damien Keogh with the ball. And Trevelyan the matchup. Inside, Ken McClary. He's been in there a long time. The referee's allowed to go, and he takes Neil Turner on with consummate ease. Too much weight inside. Only 13 assists per game, Newcastle. They really lag there. 
That's a reflection of the lack of team cohesion they've had this season. But perhaps with Everett not out there punching away non-stop, they might be a chance here. But that time, good pressure from the Kings. McClary to McLean. Steele looks downstairs. Oh, big effort there by Michael Johnson to come away with it and block Brad Dalton, who looks pretty puzzled by that. Wondered where he came from, and there's the big result. James Bullock jams. Yeah, good assist bounce pass too from Troy Trevelyan, who uh, settled into the uh, tempo pretty quickly. And Bullock on the breakaway. Nice two-handed jam as the leaper Tim Morrissey comes in for Brad Dalton. 17-14. Sydney lead by three, three and a half minutes to go before a quarter time. Still tough and physical. McClary on Turner. Too strong, but the shot is missed. Looks around for the foul, but no call from referee John Payne. Trevelyan from a long way out. And rebound, Sydney. Sydney's defensive intensity is raised a notch or two in the last minute or two. McCleary again will go on Turner all night. That shot is missed as his last one did as well and it will be Newcastle possession. And if Bob Turner sticks to plan we should see Peter Hill fairly soon. He's not going to stick to the plan though. He's bringing Ian Rebellion in. He's up against his old club and he'll come on shortly. As they give the guards a bit of a break. Inside big foul. And that'll send Turner to the line. Foul on McClary and Neil Turner, the young giant, 20 years of age, 209 centimetres, which is nearly 6'10 under the old scale. And Damien Keogh replaced into the game by another former Newcastle player in Ian Rebilliard. Neil Turner on the line, shoots 68% in his career from the line, makes the first. Game high score at the moment is Ken McClary with six points. Dwayne McLean also with six for Newcastle. Four each to Green, Bullock and Steele. Kings lead 17 to 15. Mark Dalton, no one comes to him. The shot is short. Newcastle will want to run. And the pass splits Steele and Bullock and goes out over the baseline. Turnover. On the Falcons, Sydney a chance once again. Stagnant offence too there from the Kings. Mark Dalton felt, what am I going to do? I'll just Put throw up. one up. Yeah. Ian Rebilliard out there against his old club. Dwayne McLean shoots from downtown. And the Kings not playing with the same sort of cohesion we've seen it from them over the last couple of weeks and that's the foul against Ian Rebilliard. Sydney have uh, got to start to look for percentage and when they strike a, an opponent with a 2-9 a record they've got to learn to really go on with it Greg and bury them. Absolutely as Al Green comes in He'll try to put a couple away in this couple of minutes, perhaps even a three-pointer or two. Well, he Al holds Green. the league record, Al Green, for most points ever scored in a match. Way back in 1984, he shot a phenomenal 71 points. 71 in a game. Al Green, and as we said, third all-time scorer with over 6,400 points, 270-odd games. But now Michael Johnson will go to the line, another veteran. And that was a super basket oh, because yes. he really protected the ball well and took Ian Rebillard on, pure, a pure body on body, and just dropped it in. Pure shooter, Michael Johnson. And I feel he should have played a lot of games for Australia as a pure shooter. But, uh, hasn't been selected and is probably entitled to feel a touch unlucky. Uh, many say the best player never to have represented. Yep. 23 points a game in the NBL. Over 240 games not to get a Guernsey. Something well, seems a touch wrong, doesn't it? The Kings continue to shoot this outside stuff and they've really got to get their act together and go inside and try and carve up the Falcons defence, which really shouldn't be strong enough to hold them, but at the moment they're doing a fine job. Mark Dalton goes down the lane. The assist. Ian Rebellion and a fine score to the Kings. They recapture the lead. 19 points to 18, a minute to go in the first term. Newcastle keeping this very respectable. 
They go inside, try to find Bullock, but Mark Dalton does a good job. Uh, they're just not on the money. They had a break then too, Sydney. If Morrissey could have kept that ball in, had McLean trailing him up. So 19-18, Sydney lead inside a minute before quarter time. Johnson works on Morrissey and very clever, draws the foul in the shooting motion. So Michael Johnson will go to the line and Andrews Valdenis coming in for Sydney and he'll replace Ken McCleary. The Kings rack up 16 fouls as Tim Morrissey call him the lever. He leapt right in there, he was off the ground and there was no doubt about the foul on Michael Johnson. He gets the opportunity to get the lead back for the Falcons, needs them both. Yes, he's averaging 82% from the line this year and 78% all time. Very, very good player in the toughest competition. Front end pretty comfortably there. And the back end as well. It was all net. So now the lead has changed for the fourth time in this quarter. And it's Newcastle by a point. Basket counts. Mark Dalton on the drive and foul. And the foul is on five. Michael Johnson. Ken Cole, happy from the sideline, and couldn't quite see the contact, but Mark Dalton a chance now to make the three-point play. And Dalton doing very well out there. He leads the scoring sheet for the Kings, has eight, and three rebounds as well. As the Kings go up and extend their defense, the Falcons bench calls for the Falcons to push it up hard, try and take advantage, get three men low, there's got to be gaps when you've got three out pressuring the ball. Well, Trevelyan doesn't look good. And, oh, he, yeah, well, that's a technical foul against Trevelyan. Ian Trevelyan just took the ball from the side. Trevelyan out of frustration, sheer frustration, just took him on over the sideline, and you simply cannot do that. He got the glare back from Ian Rebellion too. And because it's a technical foul, the Kings get the choice of who shoots, and in this case, they've done what I'd have done. They've got for Dwayne McLean. Yeah. Who's their best foul shooter? Sydney, not a good foul shooting team, in fact, just 65% from the line. They're in last position on the NBL team ladder for yeah, shooting fouls. And that's they get, yeah, 65% is not good and for a team. Entertaining the playoffs and hoping to do well in them obviously if they can make it then the foul shooting has got to improve and there's another one that dips away from Dwayne McLean. Al Green 30 seconds left and 30 seconds on the clock. They decide against running it down. Neil Turner just pings one up. Not very smart Neil. Now let's see whether the Kings can play it down for the last shot and try to go in with a five or six point lead. They lead by three with 11 seconds left first quarter. It's the clear out play again from the Kings. They do this successfully, allow Dwayne McLean to go one on one. Well, he just nails it. That's the end of the first quarter. Kings lead by five, 25 to 20.
play about to resume in the second quarter. Kings in front by five. And probably the best statistic in the match so far is that James Bullock, nine rebounds in the first quarter. That is a super, super performance. Mark Dalton wins the tip. The possession to the Falcons. Nine rebounds in the first quarter. And Bob Turner giving his bench a pretty good run here. He's got Tim Morrissey out there. Ian Rebilliard. Andrews fouled Dennis, but no sign of Peter Hill against his old club. I'm a little That's bit right. surprised by that. I would have thought he may have come in fairly early, but Bob Turner continues to hold him back. And Peter Hill scored his first ever win against Brisbane last week, and naturally because he's played with Newcastle for his entire NBL career, he's never beaten Newcastle either, and this will be another first for him. He's a confidence player too, Peter, and he says that he's been shooting very well in training. There he is. I wonder whether he wonders what's going on. Yeah, I'm sure he does, because he expected to get more court time than this, I think. Michael Johnson, lovely move, but no basket. Oh, Moose Rebilliard crashes on the dribble. Three on one here, Bullock inside. And against Dwayne McLean, Bullock gets a nice basket. He has six points to go with those nine rebounds as the towel boys come out to uh, mop up the perspiration. Dwayne McLean, the number 44, shining from that earlobe. Yes, McLean with nine points, his game high scorer. And has averaged 28 points a game. Pretty sensational debut into the league, Dwayne McLean. Spell Dennis on uh, Turner. Gets it again. Morrissey in paint. Shooting has been off, and Trevelyan scouts it for Newcastle. Al Green back to Trevelyan. He's in. Uh, Tall timber territory in there as well. Sydney on the break. Rebilliard takes it all the way. Misses. So does Morrissey. Takes another attempt and it's missed. So is the shot from Svaldenis and Sydney. Four goes at it. The rebounding stats look good, but not the points. It was pretty clever to Morrissey, really. A little unlucky on the first tip, but then he pulled the rebound down, ducked out down low to get himself a clear shot and just couldn't make it. So he did everything right except put it in. There's Tim Morrissey and then the frustration. Well, that came through at the end as he fouled. Michael Johnson and Tim Morrissey. Morrissey slapping at the ball. Sval Dennis goes around the top. Morrissey comes back. They switched up twice there and Morrissey again another foul. He looks over at the bench and I think that's his third foul. Bob Turner will be concerned and goes for Damien Keogh. I'll probably get the ball in before the buzzer goes. No. The bench is right on the money there. Morrissey sits, Keogh back in. And Newcastle grimly hanging on. Sydney by three. Ten and a half minutes to go before half time. Al Green in traffic. Oh. Lovely move from the veteran. Still got the moves, Al Green. Still got the quicks too. Sure has. Pretty well known stall gift sprinter, Al Green. Keogh for three. Yes. Oh. Just came on. Yeah, not don't, bad. Don't worry about warming up the hands, Damien. Just go for it. Yeah, like a slingshot. So here's Al Green. And won't drop for him. James Bullock flew. The Kings were equal. The yellow singlets were up there. Keogh again. This time it doesn't go. There's a foul in the back. Steve Bignall finds the Terminator. Andrews foul Dennis, the transgressor. Over Michael Johnson's back. The Kings racking up the fouls early. Just two minutes into this second quarter, three fouls the Kings, another couple, and we'll send everyone to the line. So a little bit of discipline required now. Kings still match up man to man, and they found a travel. It's about the third violation. Oh, it's a technical foul. It's a delay of game. And what had happened there is James Bullock had been warned earlier on about the delay of game. They've found him again. Delay, delay. You heard the call from the referee. That's right. Not asked, not asked, uh, or sorry, when asked, didn't get the ball back quick enough. Ken Cole on the sideline asks the question why. Having a great little discussion here with McLean of Sydney, the two of them, on the sideline. And Damien Keogh deadly from the line. Oh, 
So Keo makes them both, and it's Sydney's biggest lead, and the match's biggest lead. Kings out by six. And off the successful foul shot, the Kings go up. Michael Johnson really did need that. Couldn't make it. Here's Dwayne McLean. The new man, Trevelyan, will find out something about Dwayne McLean here. But it doesn't drop for him, doesn't go. Keo looks up in good form, but it's a travel. And Steve Bickle got that one right. Keo shakes his head as Grant Kruger comes into the game. Had a very brief spell in the first quarter. And was just a shade out of control, as he has a want. And here comes Peter Hill onto the sideline just in front of us. Bottom corner of the picture with Ken McClary to come back into the game shortly. King's doing just enough to stay out in front. They lead by six. Al Green tries hard. Bullock, a good rebound. And a great effort there off the glass. Yes, excellent play by Bullock. Eight points and 11 rebounds. Brilliant statistics. So Peter Hill against his old side, but the man who takes him initially is the new man Trevelyan. And if anyone should know the Newcastle offense, it'll be Peter Hill. So I'd say that Sydney have gone to school this week. McLean. Oh, oh it's got to be after the shot, but there was a... Have a look at McLean. Stretched out there like a lounge lizard. Just taking a break. Double call, basket counts, and he gets the foul. Yes, he made the shot nice and clearly, but then just rolled straight in over the defensive man who had the good position. He turns over to the bench and said, did the basket count? And it did. Sydney by six, 32 to 26. It's getting uh, a touch scrappy. It's pretty physical also. And this is Kruger, speaking of physical, and that's a charge. No basket. Well, that's his third personal yeah. foul. He's played about two minutes. And he's probably a touch unlucky then. He just turned, but the player, I think it may have been Keogh, did have defensive position. He's got a touch of the Tims, of course, Tim Morrissey. There's another offensive foul. That's three we've seen in three seconds. And oh, go easy, go easy. Here's a technical foul coming up for yes. sure. Get the money on. On the elbow. No, John Payne, I felt sure he was going to call a technical foul against the big man, Ken McCleary. He racks up three, so plenty of foul trouble here. Yes, that contest of at the other end of uh, Kruger and McCleary is explosive at the moment. And this game's on the edge. Oh, another foul. This time it's against McCleary. He's got to come out of the game. So Brad Dalton will go in. That's four fouls. Ken McCleary. Three fouls. Tim Morrissey. Two on Rebillion. A few problems, but it'll be Brad Dalton. There's the team fouls. And certainly we've noticed that the Kings have been racking them up. Well, they lead, lead the league in fouls per game. Well, they're getting about 28 fouls per game. That's a lot, but of course it hasn't hurt them. The six foul rules really played into the Kings' hands, even though Bob Turner was the man who didn't want to see it. It's just spread them around more. That's all it's done. 8.20 to go before half-time. Sydney 32, Newcastle 26. Brad but Dalton, of course, a big, tough, strong player, but not the offensive threat. No. Ken McCleary is. Oh, that fellow is there. He just keeps on producing. Al Green didn't do anything wrong in defence then. Didn't do anything wrong, but just McCleary, or McLean at least, Rolled one away. And now this is Bullock. Good defence, though, from the two big men. Oh. In underneath. Trevelyan fouled. Well, Dwayne McLean just pulled up there on defence, just sort of strolled out for the double team, and there was always going to be a man left down low. That was Trevelyan. Well, Trevelyan's just hopped off the plane. You'll see McLean turn round, and there you'll find Trevelyan going to the basket. Just lost the vision completely. Trevelyan, not on the board yet. Which is not good for your number two American playing plenty of minutes, but as we pointed out, just over today from Perth. Three rebounds, three turnovers, two fouls, and now his first point. He's on the score sheet. Yep. So 34-27, the game's highest margin is seven points to Sydney. And that shot is missed. Ferocious attempt at a rebound from Bullock. Tough athlete James Bullock yeah. battling on an ankle and a crook knee. He <laughs> still looks pretty good. 
He's racked up 11 rebounds. Great performance. Here's Favellian now. The big pick set, and it is a big pick by Grant Kruger. Favellian goes low, tries the jumper. Won't drop, and it's Kruger again. This time he picks up the foul. That'll be foul number three, Grant Kruger. That's foul number four. Foul number four, Grant Kruger. Yes. He's talking about it on the way down to the referee, but in the great majority of cases, rebounding from behind, if there's, you'll get called. McLean, good block by Kruger. He gets it back, McLean, and goes again. It's short. And Al Green on the breakaway. Bullock. It's two on two. He works on Peter Hill. Flicks it back out. Trevelyan underneath. That's a nice little basket. And a good move on Sval Dennis. He's uh, starting to pick up the tempo. Troy Trevelyan. And Kings lead by five. Al Green and McLean. Down on the right. Good defensive effort from Al Green. Press on with the man-to-man -man here. The Falcons, and that time the Kings did well to beat it through Peter Hill, but the Spal Dennis. There's a lot of frustration out there. Things aren't dropping for either side, and they're getting cranky. We're racking up a record foul tally. That's three fouls. Andrew Spal Dennis, so he goes out of the game, and we see Mark Dalton come back in. Sydney with 14 fouls already, and we've got halfway through this second quarter. Newcastle with nine. One and one. To the big man, Grant Kruger, 20 years of age, in his 57th game. Averages just four points a game all time, so not a big offensive threat. Generally comes in and plays some pretty solid defense. 50% from that trip. Kings by four. And Sydney going with Keogh and Hill in the backcourt. McLean, Mark Dalton, Brad Dalton up front. It's oh. McLean inside, shot missed. Tipped in though by Mark Dalton. And substitution, Kruger out, Turner back in for the Falcons. Falcons now going with the lineup of Trevelyan and Green in the backcourt and up front, Turner, Johnson and Bullock. Dwayne McLean matching up on Trevelyan, trying to chase him. And a couple of times in the last few minutes, McLean's just let him alone and left alone there. Well, look, not a good shot. And Peter Hill comes back with it now for the Kings. Oh, nice work. Tough defensive stuff. Keo. Oh, he chased Bullock across there, but Bullock just finger roll. Front of the ring, and down she goes. Ten points, James Bullock. And a four-point game as the Kings struggle. Mark on, big lead. James Bullock had the position. He's done a fine job at both ends. It just takes a breather. He's walking back, James Bullock. He's doing all the work at both ends. This is Trevelyan. The jumper. Ah, oh, he's got one to fall. So two points in it. The Falcons fight back. 36-34. And a worried looking Sydney bench. Peter Hill, baseline. Flicks okay. it back. Oh, we move. Beautiful reverse lay-in from Pistol Pete. That's his first two points. Oh, that fooled me. I really thought Cameron was going to pass that ball to you. It was very deceptive. It looked like a dish back, didn't it? Tremendous. I had my hands up. Bullock. Doesn't go for Bullock. Michael Johnson. The soft touch. Too soft. Came up short. Front of the ring. Four minutes to go until half time. Oh, it's got to be a charge. <laughs> it had to be a charge. It can't be a score either. No bucket. no bucket. John Payne agrees. Brad Dalton just out of control down there. I don't think he even saw Neil Turner, who was camped there for the best part of 20 seconds. Subs and a timeout. Timeout called. Sydney by four, 38 to 34. Uh, this 
Thompson. So the teams return. Bob Turner believing we've seen the best part of two quarters and that the Falcons have got to be starting to feel the pinch just a little in the run down to half time, having played a really tough one up on the Gold Coast earlier in the weekend. Then the flight down, the new man out there, Pavilion, back to the wall, the Falcons. And he wants the Kings to put the boot in in the four minutes down to the long break. Quick hands there from the Kings. It was Mark Dalton. Slashed it away and gives the Kings an opportunity to put points on the board. Well, and if that's the case, recognising that Newcastle... Well, that's a good three-pointer from Damien Keogh. I was going to say, recognising that Newcastle will be tired. Sydney should run at them and take it up and down the court. Really get out into the open court and push it. James Carr comes into the game for Newcastle. But this is Trevelyan with the ball, getting a good opportunity to show his stuff. Strut his wares by... Head coach Ken Cole. Oh, well that drop. Not likely. It had to go in or it was not a chance. It had to go straight down. Very flat. Peter Hill takes on two, but dishes back out. Damien Keogh. And look around well. Peter Hill just couldn't quite make it. Took two on, but he still picked up the foul. Neil Turner leaned on Peter Hill as he went to the basket. Went to the basket strongly too. Peter Hill, he looked forward to this game and he's certainly enjoying himself. Peter Hill played 75 games at Newcastle and came down to Sydney this year. Very good pickup. Not often you find a, a recruit that's played uh, 75 NBL games, so a very handy pickup for the Kings. They keep, they keep it alive. Inside McLean, <laughs> fouled by Green. Al Green's playing some great defense. I think he picked McLean up in the car park and he's not going to let him go till after the game. He is absolutely like a second skin. Wayne McLean really felt it there, and I think he's got to get used to that. The rest of the season, it's pretty well recognised now that this guy is one of the great players in the league at the moment. So he's going to get the attention. He's going to get plenty, yep. and in fact, the Kings are already making noises. They want protection for him, want to make sure that he doesn't get clouded and belted out of game. So I suppose that's a fair tactic too. There he goes, he nails another one. So Dwayne McLean, 15 points for the game. Three rebounds. Neil Turner. Push it around the Falcons. Kings man-to-man -man defense, very strong on that play. But Al Green finds a way in there. It was a missed shot, but he scrapped beautifully. And he keeps the Newcastle side in touch. It's 44-36. Well, that would have been a basket and a half. But and McLean turning around pretty vocal too to referee Steve Bignall about the non-call as Al Green walks in the key. No doubt about it. He thought there was a passage there between Hill and Dalton but it closed quickly. Oh, McLean, what a magic pass. <laughs> More trouble. <laughs> Amazing pass. Actually, Mark Dalton did very well just to get hold of the thing. Nine out of ten players would have seen it spear off over the end line. Two and a half minutes to go before half time. Eight point lead to Sydney and the rebound and a strong one to Keogh. Not well structured offense now from Newcastle. They really are starting to struggle a shade against the Kings who appear to have turned it up a notch since that timeout from Bob Turner and that was Dwayne McLean who's decided to get himself a cushion before half time and give his team a chance to go on with it with a big score. Yes, he slipped away from the shadow, Al Green that time. A pretty tired looking Al Green, those 35 year old legs are starting to feel it. More one on one stuff from the Newcastle Falcons. Oh, it's McLean again. He knew it wasn't going and he chased it. And even though the Falcons were there, they stood and watched. And they watched McLean just make another one. Two minutes left in this first half, and the Kings have a 12-point break. So it's by far the biggest game margin as Chris Steele throws up a three. And McLean on 40-point pace. Here he comes again. Newcastle last three trips down have <laughs> gone one-on-one -on -one with first-pass shots. 
got to get inside and get some percentage into the shots. How did Al Green manage to even get a shot off in Timber? And it's a basket and foul. And good hustling by Newcastle. James Carr did well. Yes, he did. And the foul. It's a foul on Mark Dalton, who has brought up his second. And Tony D'Ambrosis gets a rare run with the Sydney Kings with a minute 20 to go before half time. And Kruger off and Michael Johnson back on for Newcastle. So James Carr, one of the Newcastle youngsters that Ken Cole was talking about, 21 years of age. It's his fifth game this year where he's had court time. 39th overall, D'Ambrosis. D'Ambrosis will find it difficult. Has not had very much court time at all this season. Peter Hill bombed from downtown. And the foul has been found against, against D'Ambrosis, trying to get into the game, trying to make the most of his opportunities. And he just overreaches. There's Bob Turner saying, well, I sort of understand that. At least he should. He won't like it much, though, as the Kings try to get a roll on with just a couple of seconds left. Wasn't that smart, but uh, it is tough when you come in and you... Well, he's only been averaging four minutes a game and only made it onto the court in four games out of the ten. So it's hard sometimes to keep the enthusiasm going at training each week when you you know you're either not going to play or if you do, just get short time. So he'll be anxious, Tony D'Ambrosis. It's just a bit of a stoppage here because the game clock has malfunctioned. <laughs> They're just resetting it now. It was about a minute 30 left, I think. One minute and six seconds remaining. 1.06, I think they're saying. No, now the clock's at 1.51, but it'll count down. And we see that the Kings have a 10-point lead, 48 to 38. Game-high scorer, Dwayne McLean, with 19 points, backed up by Keogh, 10. Mark Dalton, 10. And for Newcastle, 10 to Bullock, 8 to Green, 7 to Johnson, 5 to Trevelyan. So the clock is going to count down second by second and we'll get reset at a minute six. And Greg Newcastle, a pretty creditable performance. They pushed Gold Coast, who were well and truly ensconced in third place on the league, to a controversial two points last night. And uh, they've done it well against Sydney. It's been a spoiling game. They haven't let Sydney get out. But full points to the uh, men from Newcastle. Well, they came out and played very well early. James Bullock particularly. Al Green getting right amongst them. Probably haven't got enough value from Michael Johnson. They really need him to shoot at about 70 or 80% if they're going to do well. But I, I think the last uh, two or three minutes of this quarter, this run down to half time, they've just lost the plot a little. Hasn't been a lot of teamwork out there in offence. They've been bunging it up pretty early. That hasn't helped the cause. But certainly they've matched it physically with Sydney. And still shouldn't be discounted just yet if Michael Johnson could get going and Bullock can keep Newcastle in the event in the paint. This is D'Ambrosis. Will he score? He sure will. Jumper over the top of the Falcons defence. It's just his nine point for the year but what a confidence booster it will be. Michael Johnson <coughs> buries a three pointer. That's exactly what we're talking about. They need that from Michael Johnson because he's capable and he could get them right back into it. Nine points in it at the moment. 20 seconds left down to half time. It's with Keogh. The boomer takes on Johnson. I left him standing and nailed it. Drilled that shot. Brilliant play, Keogh. Get it, Mike. Get the ball. Pavilion a charge. Little unlucky. Turns around with a puzzled look. Quizzical look. Shakes his head. Steve Bicknell, how did you call that? He did look a bit stiff there, didn't he? Three fouls, let's have a look. He turns in, no, the, oh, well, that's fair enough. I mean, the arm went out, pushed him away. Oh, Peter Hill. And that wraps up the first half. Kings lead 52 to 41. We'll be back in a moment. Third quarter about to begin. Kings leading by 11. And they really do have to come out strong, Graham. Yes, they do. 52-41. Newcastle have stayed with them. And a tip-off violation. And the refs are going to talk this one through, I think. 
<laughs> players making more calls, but uh, Steve Bignall says it was a tip-off violation and Newcastle have possession. Seemed like Neil Turner shot it back the other way. Chris Steele, little left-handed jumper from him, doesn't drop it. Oh, he's very, very strong. Brad Dalton was there, shaping up. And Ken McCleary back into the game, being very, very quiet. Just noted his stat. Only six points, the two rebounds from McCleary. Hasn't played a lot. Is in foul trouble. Four fouls. Has almost as many fouls as he does points. Neil Turner. Looked like a hit of a travel. Oh, but he buries it. There's a nice start. Newcastle away. Fine start. They draw within seven. 52-45. And they pick the Kings up man-to-man. -man. So the Kings run this familiar offense that they used last year. Ditched at the beginning of the season but returned to when they were in trouble, and they do seem much more comfortable with it. That was Ken McCleary getting in amongst it, getting his hands dirty. Comes up with a foul that will take him to the line. The foul was assessed against James Bullock. That's his second foul. Yes, the anticipated duel between Bullock and McCleary uh, has seen the honours go to Bullock with 12 rebounds and 10 points. McCleary, three rebounds and six. Chance to add to that now. But McCleary had been in foul trouble and sat for a fair percentage of that second quarter. Foul shooting again lets McCleary down. Yes, he's only a 60% foul shooter. The margin is eight. Sydney by eight. And still two seconds to get over half line. They just do. Bullock, Bullock working on Mark Dalton. Good defence from Dalton, keeps Bullock from going baseline. Now posts up on Dalton again. But some perimeter play at this stage from Newcastle. <laughs> Takes a long shot. That time James Carr right in front of his coach. He would have got the earful, I think. Lovely move, Wayne McLean. Little shuffle on the way down. So he got past Chris Steele. And now Carr at the other end can make amends. He misses. Under pressure from Dalton and McLean. But Newcastle will retain possession. A little bit of confusion in the Kings defence there. But the free man down low. This is Bullock. It's a double team. The Dalton gang. They gang up on him down in the corner. Force him to the sideline. So the Kings working their defence. Dalton helping out Keogh. Turner sets the screen. They look low. Bullock did well to scramble the ball back. Carr puts the foot over the touchline. They take it from the side, the Kings. Dwayne McLean. Chris Steele looks at him with all the concentration. It's a bad miss from Brad Dalton. This man doesn't miss too many. Misses that one, though. They go up the Kings, but it's James Bullock adding to that rebounding stat of his, which is... Very, very tidy, up to 13. The Newcastle Falcons, who've started this game, or this second half without Michael Johnson, will see him come in. And see, it'd make it interesting if he could fire up and bomb away successfully. Inside, good move. It's the foul against Dalton, who was beaten, and beaten all end up. By some pretty strong offense. That's his third foul. Tim Morrissey gets another opportunity. He comes in for Brad Dalton. Disappointing start of the game for Tim. Didn't do much at all. Just got himself into all sorts of trouble. Yes, three fouls. Didn't score. And he's going to have to score. It's okay to play the tough-nosed defense, but it's got a key off offense for Tim Morrissey. The pass inside. Johnson to Bullock is flicked away by the Kings. And a scrambly passage of play. Kings, though, by 10. Oh! <laughs> Kenny McCleary says, I'll take this one. And the Chief has jammed it. Kenny slams. The door stays shut. And does he like it, too? Look at the smile. That's a beautiful assist and, oh, stuffs it in the hoop. This is something. That's a great shot, isn't it? Oh, could have been goaltending against uh, Turner, but no, no call. So the two points to McClary, two big points. 
And the Kings have got the lead by 12. Dwayne McLean looks inside, had good vision. Good hands too from yeah, the ball. It's got to be the Kings ball. It's fine, it's going that way. It had to be the Kings ball. Yes. Turner got the big flick, set it up into the backboard, and then the ball went out. A little bit of confusion there, but it's tidied up pretty quickly. Oh, Dwayne McLean, great shot. He's got such a soft touch, but, even, but, he, but he still has the ability to take a knock. I mean, he was fouled then, but he still held it up. Let's have a look at it again. He's chased everywhere and just lets it go. Chris Steele hasn't done too much wrong. In the body, body foul. But he's, he's getting a bit of a lesson, Chris Steele, and uh, no shame. Now here's the press that Bob Turner's testing out after each score. 2-2-1, two, two, they'll try and push to the sideline the double team. They break it very well, the Falcons. Oh, that wasn't too good though. Didn't finish it off at all well. But still struggling to put the ball in the hoop. Oh, that time James Bullock James makes it. Third attempt, James Bullock, so he gets two rebounds, which takes him to 15, and the two points, which takes him to 12. Turner just a little indecisive there on the final play. Ken McClary takes one bounce to the basket, dishes out. Well, Keogh hit all, nothing. And here's Al Green. Well, you don't get him any easier than this. Al on the breakaway. Good pass from Bullock, who's very involved. And 60-49 scoreline. Kings by 11. Teams going basket for basket at the moment with 8.24 to go in this third quarter. The Premiership quarter set the pattern for it. And foul called on Al Green. Newcastle substitution, Trevilian comes on and Al Green will rest on the bench. Damien Keogh, the Kings co-captain, will go to the line. Shooting 71% from the line this year, one of the better Kings foul shooters. And in fact, shooting 74% all time over 280 odd games is excellent performance. Let's watch for the press again. The Kings trying this out on the Falcons, something they may use later in the season. The Falcons doing pretty well against it. Almost, almost the intercept there. Nearly turned it over to Tim Morrissey, but it made the mark, and Michael Johnson made the two. So Newcastle's been able to break it, but not, not all that effectively. They've just been getting away with it. There's the dish off. We could see it coming, but. The Falcons could see it coming too. Steal by McLean and a steal back by Steele. This is Turner. Yes, Steele from the Steel City, the Steel. And his shot is missed, Neil Turner. Rebound, Sydney. Oh, bounce pass back. Too good for everyone. From McLean, but Morrissey didn't realise it was coming, and Michael Johnson pulls up and buries a long two pointer just inside the arc. Fine touch, Michael Johnson. Well, Greg, uh, Newcastle coach Ken Cole said before the game he wanted them to be competitive. Well, they certainly have been that. Oh, they are, no doubt. <laughs> so, so is that guy, Ken McClary. But Newcastle are managed to ha managing to hang on. They've got not much going for them. Big crowd against them. The much fresher team, the Kings. An offensive foul that time's found. Offensive foul. Fouls on number 21. Tim McCleary picks it up. Ken McCleary said, uh uh, not Can't me. Be him. No. It's got to be Trevelyan. Yes, it's 22 for Newcastle, not 21 for Sydney. And that's his fourth foul, Trevelyan. Seven minutes left in the period. Kings 63, lead 53. Oh, might have been goaltending, but I think the ball was heading away from the bucket. Tim Morrissey gets his first two points of the match. 65. Kings by 12. Michael Johnson searching for the ball. Yeah. Made a couple of good plays. Oh, this time it's Mark Dalton. Oh, he lets one go too. If Mark Dalton gets up there and slams on the breakaway. Margin out to 14, which is the biggest margin in the game. Oh, Mark lets one go. 
And since he smashed his knee uh, nearly two years ago now, he's been very reluctant to do that. But he was in the clear then, there was no danger. He let one go and letting one go at the other end, James Bullock finds space in the keyway there and slays it in. Falcons just don't seem to be able to hold Dwayne McLean. A lot of muscle there on McLean. The young man still doing his best and McLean's a bit fired up. He's getting knocked about a bit. He looks around at the referee. What's going on here? They're bashing me. And you'll... Uh, McLean's still talking to the referee about the in his mind non-call at the other end as Al Green comes back into the game so McLean you'll see him right down at the bottom of the picture with the referee as they go for the timeout it's the Sydney King 67 Newcastle Falcons 55 So, so Dwayne McLean has a long chat to referee John Payne there, feels that he's being taken out of the game, and that's credit to Chris Steele. A little bit fired up, he's taken a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities, McLean, and he's missed a few too, so sure. he's feeling it a little bit. There he is. Every time you move into the paint, he can't expect to do it without contact. For sure. Well, Newcastle with the job to do, I think they've got to try and isolate Michael Johnson. Correct. He seems to be their best chance. And then have Bullock and Turner chasing for the boards. But I believe their best chance is outside. Here's Bob Turner. All we got to hear from Bob was let's go. Michael Johnson all time is a 39% three-point shooter. And I think he's got to just fire from a long way out and do it often. And of course, if he can do that, then it will take Kings players out, try to double team and leave the gaps down low. Oh, Bullock. Inspirational basket. If they're going to get back into the game, that's one way to do it. James Bullock, who still seems to be hobbling to me. He struggled with injury the last few weeks, but they stay within 10, the Falcons, and while they're hanging around that 10 point zone, they're always a rough chance. There's Bullock again, dominating those boards, getting himself right in there in the paint. This is Michael Johnson. Well, we call for it. And he stood there, he tried to deliver. Right the ball just flicked away and outside over the end line. Yes, the rebound battle well and truly being won by Bullock with 17 as Morrissey is a nice pass from McLean and drifts baseline for his fourth point. And here's Bullock at the other end, 17 rebounds. That was soft defense to the Falcons. They've got to do it at both ends. Oh, good work, Bullock. And yes, he is very proppy on that ankle, Greg. Just wheeled away after that basket. Mark Dalton has picked up his fourth personal foul and sits. And here's the move by Bullock. And no, he took Dalton on. Yes, he did. He? And beat him. So Bullock with 18 points and 17 rebounds. Huge Ken performance for the big man. Mighty performance. Ken McCleary looked down there to go for the help, but Bullock was just too quick and sliced through that gap. And he certainly has uh, strengthened up the rebounding area. He played with the Melbourne Tigers a few years ago and was more renowned as a, as a shooter. So now 19 points to Bullock and the margin's been cut. 14 back to nine, a turnover by Sydney, turnover by Newcastle. He's lucky to get away with that one. And another substitution. Peter Hill comes in and it'll be Dwayne McLean having, I think, his first rest in the match. McLean's been averaging 40 minutes court time. Peter Hill on, averaging just 19 minutes. Probably won't get that tonight. Needed a breather too, McLean. A little bit frustrated, working very hard in offense and just not getting the result that we've seen him get in recent weeks. First half was sensational. Just that period of play there, took a few knocks. Newcastle really stuck it to him. Peter Hill out there now, there's Damien Keogh. Oh, it's heavy inside, it's a charge. It's Kruger and Peter Hill, former teammates. Have a bit of a smile. Let's have a look at this. Peter Hill, hip and shoulder. Little shoulder charge. Big pump. Been watching Mark oh. Guy. So now Newcastle, going to get a little closer. Bullock works on Svaldenis, who fouls him. 
and he's up, he's up, whoa, 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 was the call, but nothing in that one. And Bullock kicks Peter Hill up. Everyone's looking around for the foul. Andrews foul, Dennis picks is. up his fourth foul. The Terminator no, no. in foul trouble. I got the call, we were, I got the call, I got the call. John Payne's. John Payne's yeah, John. John calling it and we could hear it. He's called it side ball. Al Green and Damien Keogh. A match up. Grant Kruger stands there and sets the big pick. The, big, the real big pick. There's Trevelyan. Here's Michael Johnson, tries to take on Keogh. Well, it has to be a foul against Keogh there. He reached him with his left arm. And that's the one-on-one -on -one now. Five fouls the Kings, one-on-one. -on -one. And if we were playing the five-foul rule, well, it's foul Dennis, Dalton, McClary, and Morrissey, that's Brad Dalton, would all be playing on a knife's edge. They're all on four fouls. So will the Kings see the game out with five players on the court? Oh, big leap. And should have been a foul call as it was slapped away. And you could hear the contact from here on Bullock, but it's Keogh that oh, hustles in baseline. And that's a good basket from Damien Keogh. And Sydney again out by 11. Four minutes to go before three-quarter time. Shot by Green is short. Morrissey on the breakaway and fouled by Michael Johnson. A good professional foul before the shot. But it's going to be a one and one but at least that'll force Morrissey to make them rather than get the easy lay-in. Yes, clever play Michael Johnson. Didn't go over the top, didn't do anything silly. Just enough to get the foul. Send Morrissey to the line but stop the easy layup. So Ken Cole decides to go for a timeout. Four minutes left in the third quarter. The Kings a handy margin. They need 71 points to 60. Keep doing our own thing. It'll come to you in little spurts, but keep it going. Don't slack it back. You've done too much work. You're working too hard to do anything silly now. Come back at them hard, mate. Please open shot. Come on. And it's an interesting coaches battle too with Bob Turner and Ken Cole. Both of them are two of only four men to have ever coached more than 200 games in the NBL and to have coached over 100 wins in the NBL. So Bob Turner, third on the list, 243 games coached. Ken Cole in his ninth season, fourth, 207 games. And listening to their instructions to their players at the timeouts, they're in many, many years of experience. And Ken Cole, in the timeout a few moments ago, simply a appealing to his players to show some courage out there that they've done a lot of hard work and they should keep it going Al Green oh dear he took plenty of steps there didn't he too many for the ref to count that time I think he was shaking that booty see him in the disco later here's Peter Hill oh makes a fine pass but McClary it's, it's tough downstairs that was McClary and Kruger. And oh, fiery foul. character, Kruger. Sure That's is. That's five fouls. Five Let's on have a look at it. Yes, five on McClary and the knee roll from Grant Kruger. <laughs> trying, to, trying to pin him down for the two seconds, I think, the again. Chief. Kruger is just inclined to get a little over-involved, isn't he? He loves it. Kings by 13, three and a half minutes left in this quarter. The wave goes up for the Kings as they try to hold out a spirited Falcons. Inside Trevelyan, that's the best thing we've seen from here, but what a great assist. That boy's good, John uh, Bullock. Ken McClary on five fouls. Danger for Sydney. Clinging to this lead. It's 11 points, was 14. Morrissey, a hook shot. 
Not a high percentage shot. Bullock on the break to Green. Pulls up. And the rebound oh. underneath by Johnson. Tipped in though by Bullock. James Bullock now with 19 points. I think it may have been credited to Trevelyan, in fact, and he has nine. He's come alive the last couple of minutes, showing us that he can indeed play. Margin back to nine. Sval Dennis, yes. Picks up his first two points. Al Green oh. at the other end, passed too long. And that was a great opportunity. Yes, it was. Begging for the Falcons, who seemed just a, a little bit soft at times downstairs. They're doing a lot of really torrid work. And then they allow the easy basket and the Kings to slip away again. Tim Morrissey down low. Michael Johnson tags in. Morrissey backs in. Nice play to get clear. Couldn't make the basket though. And Andrews fell Dennis. Well, he loves this sort of scrap. And he found the lane and he just drove through. Laid it up off the glass. Here's Pavilion showing us some skills. He's gone all the way. Oh, remarkable basket. Oh, there's one. Welcome to the NBL, Troy. He now has 11 points, six rebounds as well. Pretty good stats first up, seeing as he arrived in town today to play his first game. Kruger and Dalton going at it. And Mark Dalton's shot has missed. He gets his own rebound. Missed again. Gets another shot at it. And has drawn the foul. That's the foul, Bullock. James Bullock. That's only his third, third. third foul. Third foul. In trouble though with four uh, Kruger and Trevelyan for Newcastle in trouble for Sydney and the Chief McCleary has five for each to Morrissey Mark Dalton and Sval Dennis Mark Dalton shooting at just 55% from the line this year and that's about right inside Sval Dennis <laughs> who just happened to crash past Grant Kruger on the way through. So Sydney have it now back out by 14. Good period for Sydney with 80 seconds to go in this third period. And they have done very well because Newcastle has kept coming at them, the Falcons. Here's Kruger, the big screen, Morrissey. Michael Johnson takes the lane to the basket. Down she goes. They make it a 12-point game. Very physical out there. The game again on the edge. Whenever Kruger and people like Mark Dalton are out there, it's always going to be a pretty torrid affair. This is Dalton. He goes against Kruger and leaves him standing, but can't make the shot. In the end, it's Kruger. Watch them downstairs, and they've found the foul. Suggested that might happen. And it's against Mark Dalton. Now, he has five fouls. So just recapping, it's Mark Dalton, five fouls. Ken McCleary, there he is. He picks it up by leaning into Kruger. Ken McCleary has the five, he sits, Tim Morrissey has four, and Andrews Faldennis, who really has come alive and kept Newcastle at bay almost single-handed in the past few minutes, well, he has four fouls and six points, but of course, plenty of ammunition sitting there on the bench. Dwayne McLean. One in two chance of those, he's a 50% foul shooter, and it didn't go from Kruger and Bullock, a good rebound and shot attempt. It missed, and he is very proppy on that left oh, leg. Mighty game for Bullock, oh, though, huge. on one leg. Fantastic. 19 rebounds. Peter oh, Hill drives. It's got to be the charge. Grand Kruger. Again, <laughs> gets hammered. Oh, he's going to need this. But the good. bath with salt, isn't he? But he looked like Freddie Kruger position. at the end of this. <laughs> he was there. He filled the lane up beautifully, Grand Kruger, and uh, he sucked Peter Hill in. Peter Hill with just his second foul, Mark Dalton to the bench and Rebilliard in for Sydney. 37 seconds to go before three quarter time. Al Green moving, shaking oh. and bacon and good points. Oh, this has been a good performance by Newcastle. They're, they're tough. They only trailed by 10. The men from Steel City. They haven't beaten Sydney since 1989. And they've lost 21 consecutive games on the road. 14 seconds to go until the end of the third quarter. And Adelaide, def Adelaide, see Al Green, I think of Adelaide. Played many games there. Newcastle want one last shot. Al's going to take it. Great move, Al Green. So it's three-quarter time. 
and the Falcons are still hanging around. It's the Sydney Kings 80, Newcastle 72. No, it's a bit early at this stage. We jumped on it at every chance, every opportunity. I thought down there that I was going to get up a swing and they jumped up and walked away. We don't get it. We, we'll, we'll go for Mark Dalton at this stage. Hello, hello. Yeah, at this stage. There's still a lot in this ball game. And in the United States, the Chicago Bulls defeated the LA Lakers by eight goals in overtime. The Chicago Bulls win the series two one. So, fourth quarter just about to get underway and Dwayne McLean comes back for the Sydney Kings. And the firepower out there too for Newcastle. They stick with Michael Johnson, James Bullock and... So, final quarter about... Money time. Final quarter about to get underway. <laughs> final quarter about to get underway here at the Kingdom. The firepower back for the Sydney Kings. Dwayne McLean returns after his breather. And Newcastle stick, naturally enough, with James Bullock, Michael Johnson and Mean Al Green. Their best chances of pulling off a stunning victory. If they can do it, it'll be their first win away from home since July two years ago. They don't win too many on the road. Great basket, the former Falcon, Ian Rebellion, into the game. And the Kings going with a smaller lineup. Leaving Mark Dalton, Brad Dalton, and Ken McCleary on the bench, and sticking with Sal Dennis and Tim Morrissey to do most of the rebounding work in the paint. There you can see the Dalton gang, and just behind them, Ken McCleary. They're the guys who are normally banging it around the paint. Oh, McLean saw it coming. What will he do? Oh, he just lays it in. Could have done anything but decided to take the two. Swings it out to a 12 point lead as the chant goes up. Inside to Green. Damon Keogh picks up his second quick foul. That's just his second. And he was trying to stop the pass coming in to Al Green. Side ball to Newcastle. I thought Bob Turner's comment this week was pretty comical. He said Damien's had an easy week. Playing in New Zealand and only played twice. He was able to sleep in. Here he is now. Well, that one doesn't fall for him. It's a little long and it's Michael Johnson doing the job on the boards. Kings pick the Falcons up man to man as they have done right through the night. Apart from a little zone press we saw from them earlier, Al Green just stands up, jumps and nails and he drills that one. Ten point game now. Al Green with 16 points. Veteran still got it. That little drive and sometimes dish into the middle. And he gets the shot up. A fair percentage and it goes down too. It's Val Dennis enjoying his court time. Keogh not a good shot, but there's another colossal rebound. 
Strong pass. Here's Al Green. Ah, very smart. Yes. Clever, clever play from the veteran. That Keo away and then let Tim Morrissey slide by. So Al Green now with 21 points. His all-time game average is 24. Exploded for a 40 a little earlier in this season. Just to prove he's still got it. Tim Morrissey now in double figures with 10 points. Just under six minutes to go in this match. And 18-point lead to Sydney. Bullock. Kruger muscles in for the rebound. And there are bodies everywhere. Hey, back it up, back it up, back it up. So it's Bullock and Morrissey, yeah, Al Green comes in. Now the intentional no, foul is being called against Bullock. That all started because Ian no, Rebellion got tangled up with Kruger and then the Tim Morrissey got fired up by the incident on the yeah, ground. The intentional foul, yeah. the intentional foul was ultimately found against, let's have a look at it. It was found against, there's a push first of all from Tim Morrissey. Yes. Then he goes away and he pushes James Bullock down. Where right now with Ian Rebellion and just after that, Morrissey and Bullock went at it again. Bullock was found out. One who started it was missed. Well, it's all part of the game. He's standing at the line now, just popping him in. Look at the ball from the side. It was an intentional foul. Up, so it's appears to be his own defense this time from Newcastle. He's trying something different, but the game's gone. Try and get Sydney to shoot from outside. Thank you, Kansas. Thank you very much. Not too much pressure. And he's just he's just eating those up this year. Best in fine form. Best way to beat his own. You know, percentages, he's the number three. Three-point shooter in the league. He's right up there. Yes, he's uh, 47%. Just nearly one for two. That's pretty good going, isn't it? It is. He's got a higher three-point percentage than two-point percentage. Al Green. Oh, he shows, he's still yes. got it. All, all that hit was net. So, 4.50 to go. 107.90. Tim Morrissey settled into his work well. He gets it away to Keogh. Oh, it's strong inside. That was a foul. <laughs> Ian Rebellion just went up and... Oh, well, he really did clean, clean Bullock up in the air that time. It's one and one. 21 rebounds to so James has Bullock. Fouls. So up he goes, Bullock. Oh, you see Ian Rebellion come in hard. Haven't they wrecked up some fouls, these two teams? 32 fouls to Sydney, 22 to Newcastle. And James Bullock, 24 points. Up at the top of the league, rebounding ladder. He's averaging 14 a game this year, 15 a game all time in his career. And the next best rebounder for Newcastle is their off guard, Troy Trevelyan, with six. So Bullock has done it all. Then McClary getting ready to come back on for Sydney and. It's his first touch, he's not even on the court. <laughs> Newcastle ball. <laughs> Sit down, Chief was the, was the call from <laughs> John Payne on that occasion. A great move from Al Green. And the veterans definitely still got it. McClary in. And Rebellia to the bench for Sydney. Yeah, the Indian calls as the chief <laughs> they love it. comes back in. Yeah, that's becoming a real trademark, isn't it? Now the chief, people are turning up with feathers. You mentioned they put the war paint on. He's a big attraction, there's no doubt about it. Damien Keogh, after we've wrapped him up all night, has let us down. He's missed the last three. This man just keeps going. He keeps coming at the kicks, Al Green. Oh, big lead. Great work. Ken McCleary to Keogh. Keogh takes get on out, Steele. Get out, get out. A little bit of heavy hitting un underneath and referee John Payne, you could hear him, get out, get out, was the cry. Inside, they go outside again, they push it round this zone now. Uh, 
Well, they almost tackled Andrews Feldenis as he went through the paint. 13. Number 13. James Bullock now with five fouls. Joins Trevelyan and Kruger on that total. And for Sydney, Svaldenis, Mark Dalton, McClary also have five. And we'd, we'd have fouled out six players if we'd been playing Under the, the old, old five. Yes. And yet we haven't seen one sit yet. There's only four minutes to go in the game. I'm sure we will. It's a lay down to Zaire. Kings by 13. It's a two on one. Al Green goes one on one against Tim Morrissey and beats him. And Green now with 28 points. Has exploded tonight, Al Green. Mark Dalton getting ready to come back on. Pretty close to man of the match. Yes, he had a <laughs> mighty uh, passage of play. A couple of very good quarters when the Kings really needed it. When they were under pressure, a very physical Newcastle side. He was one of the good players. We're about to see him finish the game off for the Kings. Al Green. Oh, come on, James. Get him the game. That leg he was is wobbling. Oh, he's, he's yes. hurting. He's, he's hurting uh, badly. Crippled. Played on one leg. That's, that has been the performance of the game, I believe. But Dwayne McLean strips him of the ball, though. Bullock's run out of gas. Oh, he's... Oh! Kruger cleaned Keo up, but Keo nailed the shot. It's a big basket. And that's six fouls. Yes, Grant Kruger fouled out of the game. See ya, Freddie. <laughs> Actually, came out pretty unscarred. I thought he was going to take more punishment than that. He it put his body right, in. It was right near the Sydney bench, too. It, uh, it had potential to get out of hand that one, but it didn't. And Kruger's. Well, they've done the job here and they've been working like. Not the spectacle of the game against Brisbane, but it has been tough. And they'll be pleased to lift themselves up within just one game of the. NBL top six and who'd have thought it when they started the season zero and four. There's Ken McClary, uncontested. James Bullock hobbles back up. He simply couldn't get out there. And Trevelyan comes down to the other end and nails three. 17 point game, two minutes left. Dwayne McLean takes on the zone, but they push him wide. He's always a threat. Tim Morris isn't going to drop for him, no, but Ken McClary goes in, he cleans it up. So the Kings continue to apply the pressure even this late in the game. Although that time they just let Neil, Neil Turner walk in and jam it. Yes. McClary with five fouls wasn't going to stop the slam with the game over now. A minute 30 to go and Ambrosius comes back into the game for Sydney. Replacing Tim Morrissey. Has the ball. Gives it to McClary and it's in. Sydney now by 19. 120 to 101. Oh, 60 pal. And 60 seconds to go. Damien Keogh picks up his fourth. Both teams in the bonus, so Al Green will go to the line. So the Kings' next game is actually against the Michigan State University up in Bathurst. They have a fortnight off, but they're going to have a hit out next weekend up there. And that'll be a good relaxing time for them. They'll get up there and enjoy that game because they have been under enormous pressure for the last few weeks as they've tried to claw their way back up in the ladder. And they managed to do that, so this will be a good breather for them. And they'll come out and play Perth for perhaps a spot in the NBL top six. It's certainly done well here. Workmanlike performance against spirited Newcastle Falcons. The foul against number 13, Tony D'Ambrosis. Pavilion made the drive to the basket. Just 38 seconds left in the game. The Kings lead by 18. There we go with the body. You can see him coming into the back. And Trevelyan has his chance now to add to the score. 14 points at this stage of the game. If it stays that way, his first appearance in the NBL. I don't know what sort of force he's going to be. We saw some good things from him, but maybe a little tired, a little lag. This could be two games. 
at once, first and last. Oh. Oh. Gee, you're pretty tough. D'Ambrosis, is he going to get his first points? No, three shots just recently. And kept in well by Chris Steele. Inside Trevelyan. Oh, brilliant basket, Trevelyan. <laughs> There's a player with a future in the NBL. <laughs> No, he, he has tended to struggle a little bit, but he's just had a job. He's got 16 points. It's been a big ask for him, really. It has. To come into a team he knows nothing about, gets straight off the plane, and play is not easy, but really it's been the King's night. He won't get to meet them until after the match. That's right. It's 120 points to 105. Five seconds left. Here's Trevelyan again. Oh. <laughs> Playing like the a champ. finish. That's it. The finish. So, big win to Sydney. They climb up the ladder. They join Brisbane hovering outside the six. We'll be back in a moment to speak to Mark Dolph. Thank you. 